can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you wanted to be like Bruce Lee. You wanted to be that fast. You wanted to be that charismatic. You wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jamar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce effing Lee. One of the most beloved fighters in all of MMA, and yet again, back on the proving ground tonight. Or till the date for this, our main event of the evening. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bam Bam. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Herb Dean, our referee right, right. for this one, just about right. to get underway. Good. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Beautiful leg kick lands. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh. oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Lee. Nice leg kick. Oh, nice kick. Nice job by him defensively there. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Very fast jab lands for him. Two minutes have expired off the first round clock. Lee gets caught with that punch. Go. Those are the body kicks that'll crumble you. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, that's a big hook to the chin. Connects with a beautiful jab. Just over two minutes now to go. He lands a solid punch there. Leg kick is there. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. That 
opened up a cut above the eye here. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single combo cut. Straight there by Lee. One minute to go in the round. Leg kick. Oh, effective use of the jab by Lee. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Rip the body there. Nice crack there. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. 15 seconds. Oh, nice. Second round, straight ahead. All right, that's the end of the round. Clearly a cut sustained there on his forehead, courtesy of that strike. So the cut man will have to close that up and try to prevent it from becoming an issue here as this fight moves forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, took it. He landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. Ready. Ready. Go. Round two underway. Round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high level mixed martial arts. Oh, just misses with the kick. Clean execution on that leg kick. My favorite shot in the game, another leg kick. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, big knee. And that's that's the danger in the engagement there. All right, let's go. Get that head down. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you've got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are pleading like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way. And kick there is his hands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Big head kick! Strong outside leg kick. This pace is just absurd. He has kept it up throughout the fight. Shades of Max Holloway against Calvin Cater. Punches in bunches. I mean, being there, watching Max Holloway do what he did was super impressive. So to even list this performance alongside that tells you how this guy is fighting tonight. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to feel everything that he's going to bring at him. Should have got the fight finished at that time. Trying to kick the leg out. 
Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Oh, he didn't seem too phased, but that high kick definitely got through. Oh, and there's a kick. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Just over two minutes now to go around two. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side, underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Nice block. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. His misses are entertaining. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You'd think he's got to go in and just get him out of there. Well, he's trying, but he gets a little bit anxious, so he starts to throw a lot of punches and not the right punches. And because he's throwing so much, he keeps missing, and by doing that, he's missing chances to end this fight. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Wow, what a head kick! And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Well, some fighters, when they get cracked in the mouth, they respond well. He got stunned earlier in the round and hasn't really recovered or gotten back into things. People react differently, right? Some people just get back on. He's having a hard time building his way back into this fight. Lee gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. All right, round three coming up next. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, let us get you some replays after that round. And he is definitely dealing with a damaged nose now. We'll see if we can isolate the strike that caused the damage. Yeah, and there it is, right? It was this one right here that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's not a bad cut. The nose isn't demolished Wait, yet. But if he keeps hit getting hit there, it will be. And then everything becomes very difficult. So what he's got to do is he's got to move. He's got to be smarter in his approach in this next round. He didn't seem all that phased on the stool. The cut man has stopped the bleeding for now. But we will continue to keep an eye on this developing storyline here as this fight continues. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Both guys appear to land there. Well, he might be working towards an attritive knockout here tonight as he continues to pepper that body. Look at those numbers, bottom of your screen. That has been the most significant stat in this fight. The body strikes land. Oh, How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all the way. He's brutalized him with the ground upon. This fight is close to being done. All right, 
right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. He goes back to the well and lands another strike from the top. And now you can see the swell. Oh, crowd just loving it as the fighters, after an extended grappling battle, make their way back to the feet. Yeah, they're back on their feet. They spent a lot of energy on the ground, though. These guys were going back and forth on the ground, and ultimately, he's gotten back to his feet to give himself an opportunity. and half guard. Now he's going full mount. He's got to start throwing now. Oh, nice job working hard, posting and getting back up. Man, that cut is so bad, you wonder if at some point that is going to start to affect his breathing. Trying to establish that jab once again. He's got good leg kicks, there it is. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Lance, a good series of kicks here. Oh, he didn't like that one. Under a minute to go. This whole fighter starting to open up a little bit. Oh, that's a sharp hook there by Lee. Marwell has had his striking on point tonight, and as evidence, some swelling now on his opponent. Yeah, light swelling right now. But if he doesn't address it immediately... Oh. And back to his feet. <laughs> 20 seconds to go. Well, he is a tactician. He does not discriminate when it comes to his weapons. There's a sidekick. That sidekick can go to the legs or to the body. But he can't. Opponent's chin held up. Oh, His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. All right, there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and he heads back to the stool, and hopefully he can stay in this fight because that is a severe cut that he's dealing with right now. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself. Somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Let's go. More, more, more. That's working. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Unable to land with that punch. Kick attempt there, blocked. Yeah. That punch no good. 
What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged, swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so... He has to evade Stan's face. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. We send it in there now to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 12 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to cheer about. You know he's gonna get everyone's best shot, but 